Uh, today we'll be talking about the VLOOKUP function in Microsoft Excel. Uh, this is a frequently used function and um, you know, it's pretty simple to use VLOOKUP. However, I find a lot of people struggling with this function and uh, what I hear from a few of my trainees and uh, you know my team members, they kind of you know face a bit of difficulty while using this VLOOKUP. So uh, let's uh, try to simplify it. Uh, in a, what I'm going to do is I'm try, uh, going to try and uh, make it a little simple for you to understand. So let's first of all understand what exactly this VLOOKUP function is. So understanding VLOOKUP here. The VLOOKUP is a lookup and reference function. One of those lookup and reference functions that are available uh, in the Microsoft Excel. And this can be used when you need to find things in a table or a range. So if you're trying to find a value uh, in a table or range and then you need to fetch the corresponding value uh, from that particular table or range, then you can use VLOOKUP. Right. So now basically used for searching values uh, in a range of data or from a table of data. Now, uh, before we actually start using, I'm actually going to show you the, how to use this VLOOKUP function with an example. We are going to take an example. So before I actually get into those Excel spreadsheets and start working with those, uh, let's quickly have a look at the uh, uh, parameters that we need to uh, work with while using this function. So uh, when you use this function, there are four parameters that you uh, need to work with. The first parameter is the lookup value. So when you are uh, using this function, the first parameter that you will have to uh, use is the lookup value. Uh, this will basically, this lookup value is the value that you want to search. So you, know, you supply the value that needs to be searched in this particular parameter. Uh, then the next one is the table array. So this is the array of data that is to be searched for. Okay. So a lookup value is the value that needs to be searched table array is the data uh, table that uh, you need to basically search within. Uh, small point to note here, the look, VLOOKUP function searches in the leftmost column of this array. So the value that you are searching for should be the, you know, at the leftmost column of the table array. It should be the first column of the table array. Uh, call index number, that's the third parameter that is used there. Uh, it's an integer specifying the column number of supply table array that you want to return a value from. So the value that you are searching is on the first, in the first column and what value you want to return, that's something which should be there. Uh, you know, from which column you want to basically pick the value that is going to be your column index number. So if your the you know value that you're searching for is in the first column and you want corresponding uh, value from the third column, then it should be, uh, you know, the call index number should be three. Okay. Uh, range lookup. Uh, this is the fourth and the last parameter there, though this is an optional parameter, but still it's uh, important for us to understand this an optional logical argument that describes what the function should return in the event that it does not find an exact match. So what should it do if it does not find an exact match? So uh, this is an optional uh, logical argument. Uh, this is of a Boolean type, basically true or false. So you can put a zero or one in this. Zero being false, one being true. So uh, now enough of uh, theory about this. Now let's get into uh, an Excel spreadsheet and work with this VLOOKUP function. I think things will become a little more clear once we start working on it. So let's take a small scenario here. Uh, I've got a list of uh, companies uh, here. And as you can see, uh, we have got uh, the name, phone number, website, address, city, state, uh, zip code, country, all these uh, things for the companies. Uh, now, what I need to do is uh, all the states, we have got the abbreviated names uh, for all the states here. Uh, what I want to do here is I basically want to uh, use the full name of the state here. Now, how do we do this? Um, I, instead of using these abbreviated names, what I want to do is I want to use the complete uh, state name here, or I want to basically, you know, bring in the full state name here. Now, uh, I have got the list of uh, state names uh, in another file. I'll just open that one. Yeah, here's the file which contains uh, 
the complete list of uh, the states and here we have both the things we have got the abbreviations and we have got the full names so that's what we have now uh, we need to map this from that table and search for the corresponding state's name that's what we need to do right so now uh, going back to you know uh, if we take this scenario and we go back to the parameters that we were talking about so let's you know quickly uh, talk about the parameters one more time so the lookup value is going to be the state name the abbreviated state name that you want to search uh, table array is going to be the second table uh, the one which is uh, having the abbreviated names as well as the stateful names so that's basically going to be the table array so uh, that's the uh, you know uh, table in which you have to search for the names uh, the lookup function searches in the leftmost column of this array so that's something which i've already told you so uh, we already have that sort of uh, setting uh, so abbreviated names come first in that particular file that we just saw in case that's not the case uh, you should make sure that whatever value you're searching for that column has to be uh, the first column of, of the table array column index number yeah so it's, it has to search it in the second column the first column is the abbreviated name and you have to search for it uh, search for the second uh, column value uh, in the table array right and this time we are actually going to you know uh, search for uh, the you know, exact matches so that's absolutely fine okay so let's come back to this file so we start writing this function we look up okay we look up okay uh, so all those four parameters which i've talked about you can see those four parameters here the first one is the lookup value so lookup value for me is uh, this f2 right then the table array now you have to give the reference to the table array you can simply go here and this is your table array just make the selection okay and it's a good idea to freeze this selection so that it does not move and come back to uh, your actual file where you, you were putting the function put a comma now uh, the third uh, value that we have to put here the third parameter is the column index number which is two and make it zero Press enter that's it all right now you can just drag this function for all the records you see this? Okay. So uh, one thing that you have to ensure is you have freezed the values of the array. Otherwise, you know, every time you're moving this uh, row, you know, once you uh, move this, let me show it to you here. So see, uh, when I move it from here to here, if you see what was F2 in this function has become f3 here right and so on you know it will actually you know keep on adding the values according uh, to the value of this particular column uh, uh, rows of this particular column right so when this is on g2 it takes f2 value when it is in g3 it takes f3 right However, we don't want the same thing to happen for the table array right i want the table array to be fixed because if it starts moving the table array as well then it won't find any values uh, there right so i don't want the you know, table array values to move and that's the reason why i have uh, you know, freezed this uh, entire selection to freeze you just uh, need to use f4 so let me write uh, this one more time for you equals v look up uh, the value that you want to search f2 no, no need to freeze this because i'm going to drag this uh, function so there's no need to freeze this for the comma uh, table array you can simply go to the other uh, file or other sheet wherever your table uh, data is there make this selection okay and press f4 to freeze this selection okay and this selection part will not move and uh, now let me 
go back to the original file, press, uh, you know, uh, enter a comma here, and then column index number is two. Obviously, we have two columns there. First one is definitely uh, the value that we need to search for. First one in this uh, table, first one is the value that needs to be searched, and second one is uh, the word column from where I want to return the value. So, column index number is going to be two. And then zero. Okay, so false is exact match, true is approximate match. So, uh, what you want to do is we just want exact match. I know we have got exact match, so we do not want it approximate match. So, okay, zero for that. Enter. Yeah. Now you can simply drag this for all the values and you find this in there. So that's how simple it is. Let's, you know, uh, just for uh, the sake of understanding, let's make a small change in the data table from where you're picking the value. So let me remove this. Uh, let me insert one more uh, couple of columns here. Uh, let's say there are some other values. I'm just, you know, putting some dummy values here just to make you understand how it will work if you have multiple columns. In this case, we just have two columns. So just putting some dummy values. Okay, now we have got four columns, right? So now if you're writing the function, same function, you should write the lookup, uh, lookup value is this, do the table of selection. So this time you should select the complete table, leave the table, this time, because your four uh, columns and you are actually trying to, you know, retrieve the value from the fourth column, you should enter number four here and then zero. And That's it. Got it? Because uh, the value that I'm trying to retrieve in this case is actually lying in the fourth column. So the reference point is this starts from here. And so this is one, two, three, four. So that's how you should really do the uh, One more thing uh, before we, uh, you know, close this. Uh, Make sure that you know uh, once you have uh, got the values from the VLOOKUP, make sure that you copy these values and you kind of uh, perform a paste special to paste the values here. Okay, so paste special will basically you know remove the for, uh, formulas and it is uh, gonna you know put the exact values here so that in case you know uh, there are some changes in the actual file that won't affect this one. So this is no more connected to that particular uh, file or that range of data. All right, so I have got the data that I needed and I've actually cut the connection between this file and that file so that I do not get affected or this data uh, does not get affected by any changes uh, which are made on the actual file. 